Now, the sixth problem involves finding the average rate of change of uh, one quantity with respect to another. Now, it's not always stated that way, and on the set of problems you have, it isn't stated exactly that way. So let's uh, think about what this means. Average rate of change of A with respect to B, first of all, is defined to be the average rate equal to change in A divided by change in B. Notice this is not A over B. It's the change in A divided by the change in B. Uh, students are constantly forgetting this essential word. It's part of the definition. Every word in this definition is essential. Change in means you have to have two values of the A quantity and two values of the B quantity so that you can subtract to find the change in the A quantity and subtract to find the change in the B quantity. Now, question uh, very similar to the one we have here uh, is to find the average rate of change of f of x equal to x squared minus 3 between x equals 1 and x equals 4. Now, first of all, we don't have the word with respect to in this definition, and the word with respect to is essential. You need to understand that if you're finding the average rate of change of a function, it's with respect to its variable, unless it says something different, unless it explicitly states differently, meaning that what, what, what this means is the average rate of change of f of x with respect to x. Now, that with respect to is extremely important because the word the words with respect to, WRT stands for with respect to, ROC stands for rate of change. You should be familiar with that terminology. We've used it previously in the course. In any case, uh, the A quantity is the one that comes before with respect to, and the B quantity is the one that comes after with respect to. It's always A with respect to B. Whatever comes before the with respect to is the A quantity, and the change in that quantity goes in the numerator. Whatever comes after is the B quantity, and the change in the B quantity goes in the denominator. So the A quantity here is what? Once we understand that if we don't say it, the if we give a function as for its average rate of change, we mean with respect to its variable. In this case, the function is f of x. The variable is x. OK, so the A quantity is your f of x. The B quantity is x. So the A quantity is f of x. B quantity is x. A quantity is what's before the words with respect to. Uh, B quantity is what comes after the words with respect to. Now, we need to find the change in the A quantity, and we need to find the change in the B quantity. We're told that this is between x equals 1 and x equals 4, so we know that the B quantity uh, I didn't set this up the way I thought I had. Uh, so let me kind of erase that last sentence. Uh, again, the A quantity is f of x. The B quantity is x. x changes from 1 to 4. What does f of x do? Well, when f of x equals, or when x equals 1, we get f of 1 equals 1 squared uh, minus 3, which is negative 2. When x equals 4, we have f of 4 equals 4 squared minus 3, which equals 13. So we see f of x changes from negative 2 to 13. So the change in f of x is 13 minus negative 2, which is 15. OK, we change from negative 2 to 13. Change in x is what? Change in x is, well, x goes from 1 to 4. 4 minus 1 equals 3. So let's see if I can set this over a little. So what do we have? We have the average rate is what? Change in the A quantity. The A quantity is your f of x, because that's what comes before the uh, with respect to. So it's change in A, or change in f of x, 
multiplied by the change in x. The change in f of x is 15. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and write out the numbers. Uh, we have usually two numbers up here. Uh, so we have this, which gives us 15 over 3, which equals 5. That's our average rate of change.